John Conroy um, is the director of photography um, and we shot the film using the Red One camera which is if anyone's worked with it it's a fairly heavy camera um, so when you want to do a lot of handheld work which of course is you know it's it's better for a 21 day schedule um, and it's exactly what we wanted for the movie um, John Conroy fortunately who is the director of photography is a very very big guy um, a very very strong tower of a man and in horizontal wind and rain in minus five degrees uh, for 12 hours a day uh, he did it yeah, yeah no I completely reiterate what you said because he, he was he was amazing I don't know <laughs> I don't know how he, he he stood there like a tower of strength <laughs> throughout the, the whole because because some of those days were, were intense okay next question please No? Is the question yeah. to be about Mark? No? <laughs> I have a general Yeah, please, please, please. About, uh, microphone, please. Microphone. Yeah. It's related to Merlin. <laughs> um, in Merlin, a lot of it's about fate and destiny. Do you believe in fate and destiny? Um, I guess, yeah. I mean, it's, um, you know, the, the, there's a path, but... but I believe you make your own luck and you make your own path because if you fall into the trap of believing that there's a destiny and it's going to happen, you know you don't you don't get jobs by sitting on. You know, you know. So it's like it's. So you don't think it was destiny that you got the path on Um I worked for it. Yeah, I mean, like it was. I mean, certainly luck's involved. Things come along that I happen to finish a play in the West End when I was auditioning that the timings worked out. You could call that, you know, I don't know if you if, if you wanted to call that destiny or you want to call that fate. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I for every twenty things you're auditioning for, you might get one. You might if you're lucky. Um, but you gotta put the work in for all twenty of those. So um, so yeah, I mean it's 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 about it's about the work and, and yeah, lots of fingers crossing as well. <laughs> okay, dahinter oder genau. Also erst Sie, dann yeah. Mr. Celtic. Um, how back to part? How about poetry? Because I think uh, I was quite impressed by the amount of poetry you managed to put into the movie about you know the image of the falling leaf, echoing how at the end um, Fred jumped off into the pool and turning the image of death into life and. Poetry, if you comment on it. Yeah, and the and the use of the the Dante's Inferno lines as well. Um, yeah, I mean, Dara was very keen. Um, it, this was really to do with working from the character of Fred, um, because Fred, you know, is a guy with wide interests, and you know, he's always writing in his notebook, um, and and so we were. In the original scripts, there were a lot more um, phrases that Fred used and, and lines that Fred quoted, um, and, and and discussions even that the characters of, of Fred and Cal had together, um, you know, about elements of poetry, um, and and we we just looked very hard at the script uh, during the development process and held on to what we hope, of course, are the best uh, lines. And I, I happen to completely love the, the falling leaf.